You're going to love this. Trust me. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, fellow Dragon Ball junkies? It's your boy Josh, bringing you another Dragon Ball Super Card Game video. Today, we're going to be going through the red card reveals from the new Cross Spirit set. We're going to be checking out the Dragon Ball Super Card Game Facebook page, looking through the reveals. I'll read them, we'll do a little discussion about them, and uh, we'll see what we think. We got some U11 stuff coming, baby. Check it out. All right, all right, here we are at the red cards. So this is the second last of the Cross Spirit reveal videos that I will be doing. I'll do the red cards and then I will have one video where we go through all the new uh, TP promos and the multicolored cards. So let's get into this red stuff. Starting off hot, we got a new Jiren leader, baby. I love Jiren, it's one of the first decks I started out using. I started off with, with uh, Shenron Gogeta, Janemba and uh, Jiren, the, the old quad strike Jiren that came from the ultimate box. But anyway, let's get into these cards. We got a lot of red cards to read, so I'm going to go through them fast. All right, Jiren, 10k red leader, auto spirit boost one. When your opponent attacks, choose up to one red Jiren card in your hand with an evolved skill. Pay the skill cost for the chosen card's evolved skill, then evolve it on top of a battle card that meets its evolved requirements interesting so that's kind of weird activate man once per turn add one card from your life to your hand look at up to seven cards from the top of your deck play up to one red universal 11 card with energy cost of one among them in rest mode then shuffle your deck awaken when your life is at four or less you may draw one card switch up to one of your energy to active mode then flip this card over on his awakened side the jiren blind destruction looks awesome auto when this card attacks draw one Auto limit two, if it's your turn, when one of your red universe 11 cards evolves, this card gets plus 5,000 power for the turn. Auto spirit boost one, when your opponent attacks, choose up to one red Jiren card in your hand with an evolved skill. Pay the skill cost for the chosen card's evolved skill, then evolve it on top of a battle card that meets its evolve requirements. So he's got spirit boost on the leader when you do your evolves. Interesting. We have a new Gohan leader. We have Red Sun Gohan, Warrior of Universe 7, auto once per turn. When you use a Universe 7 card in a combo, draw one card. Awaken, when your life is at four or less, or you have a red unison card with a specified cost of two in play, you may draw one card, switch up to one of your energy to active mode, add cards from your life to your hand until you have five life left, then flip this card over. Interesting, so you can awaken early and then take cards down to five. And it has uh, the effect that like the old Hercule leader had when you combo, you draw. Um, on the Awakened side, also Warrior of Universe 7, Sun Gohan, the power of duty, auto once per turn when you use the Universe 7 card in a combo, draw one card, auto once per turn, Spirit Boost 1, uh, when you use a, a red skillless battle card with energy cost of 2 and a combo, it gets plus 6,000 combo power for the battle. Auto once per turn when one of your red unison cards with a specified cost of 2 in your unison area is placed in your drop area. Choose up to one skill red skillless battle card with the energy cost of two in your drop area and play it. So we're doing stuff with skillless cards. When our unison gets revealed, we're playing them. Uh, we have a new unison, Frieza, Unlikely Savior. Two costs, two specified red. 15k unison, auto once per turn. If it's your turn, when you remove mark from this card using a spirit boost skill, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards or unison cards, and it gets minus 10,000 power for the turn. Minusing is a typical in red decks. Activate main, plus one marker. Place up to one red skillless battle card from your drop area at the bottom of your deck, helping you cycle your skillless cards. Plus uh, zero auto when your opponent attacks. So this is a defensive marker skill. When your opponent attacks, choose up to one skillless universe seven card in your hand or drop area and combo with it. Cool. Plus your leader makes things extra things happen when you combo with skillless. Nice. So then Topo, Force of Obliteration. This is a one specified red. 5k units and auto once per turn one of your red battle cards evolves this card gets plus 5,000 power for the turn add a marker to it and add a marker to it activate main plus one at the end of the turn choose up to one red battle card with an energy cost of one in your hand and play it in rest mode activate main for minus seven so it's gonna be tough to get him up to seven markers you're gonna have to pay more than one for him uh, to do that Activate main. If your opponent has three or more life, deal one damage to your opponent. Ooh, some burn damage. Interesting, interesting. And it works with our leader, our Jiren leader. 
uh, with the evolve thing. Nice. All right. Then we have Sun Goku, a super rare Sun Goku Divine Presence. Looks pretty good. That's a four, three specified red, 5k combo, 20k battle card. It's a dual attack with deflect. Nice. This card can't be removed from your battle area by skills during your turn. Interesting. Auto once per turn when this card attacks, add up to one red skill of battle card from your deck to your hand, then shuffle your deck. This card gets plus 5,000 power for the turn. He is a universe 7. He works with the Gohan leader and with the skill list stuff. Activate battle for two red. If you have three or more energy and you have two or more red battle cards in your combo area, play this card from your hand, then choose up to one of your mono red cards, and it gets plus 5,000 for the turn. That's pretty cool. So you can play this guy for two because you're going to be comboing stuff. You get a lot of advantage from comboing. Oh my god, this card's beautiful. Jiren Zenith of Power looks so sick. Eight cost for two red. The big boy Jirens are always expensive, but they always do a lot of crazy stuff. It's a 35k double strike, one for ten combo. EX Evolve, limit one for two red energy. If you have three or more energy, you can evolve him onto a red Jiren card with energy cost of four or five. And there are some good ones. Shackles of the Past comes to mind. Um, I think that's what it's called. Auto, when this card is played, choose up one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier. It gets minus 35,000 power for the turn, and you can't play non-universe 11 battle cards with it. So you want to be uh, playing universe 11 heavy, or just uh, sequence your turns so that he comes out at the end when you're not going to play other stuff. Activate main. Once per turn, place one card under this card in its owner's drop area. Switch this card to active mode, and you may have your red leader... You may have your red leader card get plus 5,000 power for your turn. That's weird wording. Usually it would just say, and give your leader. You may have your red leader card get plus 5,000 power. Pretty good, pretty good. He's double strike 35k. That's strong. Um, give your leader extra extra 5k. And you could. Uh, you can't do that defensively. But anyway, we got a new 5 cost tier and 2 specified red. Gear and certain strength. That other guy can evolve onto him. He's a dual attack 19k. Nice. EX Evolve Limit 1 if your leader card is a red universe 11 card. Red Jiren card with the energy cost of 1 or 4. Permanent. If this card will be removed from your battle area by opponent's skill, you may place two cards under this card in their owner's drop areas or add one card from your life to your hand instead. The way you're getting cards under him is by Evolve. Um, auto. When this card is played, draw one card that chooses up to one of your red universe 11 leader cards or battle cards other than this card and it gets plus 10,000 power for the turn. Interesting. Jiren. I, I'll build this probably just because I love Jiren. Um, I want to see what it does, so I'm, I'm very interested in testing this out, seeing what I can, if I can make some sort of broken Jiren deck with all the old uh, U11 stuff. Jiren Devastating Might, four costs, so we can evolve on him too. Uh, he's a yes, evolve your leader card is red universe 11 card, red Jiren card with energy cost of one. So we're playing out those for free with our leader, the one cost Jirens. We get this guy onto him uh, for free evolve on the, the one cost for free so you get that one cost out for free you evolve onto it with this guy for free you pay one to evolve it with this guy two three so essentially i mean i could be wrong about this but it seems like you can get, you can get to this guy with three energy just saying if i'm seeing that right yeah because you can get the one yeah anyway auto limit one when this card is played draw one card to choose a point of your opponent's battle cards it gets minus ten thousand for the turn all right, then we have Zoire, Warrior of Universe 11, a U11 card, four cost, one specified red. If your leader card is red, when you take damage from an opponent's non-keyword skill, so burn damage, you may play this card from your hand. If you do, add the top card of your deck to your life. You can't activate the auto skill and copies of this card for the game. So if you get burnt, you get to play this and you get the life back. That's pretty good. I like that. Especially if burn is uh, really heavy in the meta, definitely a good side deck card. Um, Kakat, Warrior of Universe 11, 2 specified red. This is our super combo. If your leader is red and your life is at 4 or less, when this card is using a combo from your hand, draw one card from this card, gets plus 10,000 combo for the battle. Typical um, super combo text. And then I'm sure this is the new yeah, limit 1. If your leader card is red, you choose one of your red unison cards. When you remove a marker from one of your unison cards using spirit boost skill, you may place this card from your hand under the chosen card. If you do, add a marker to the chosen card, then draw one card. So these are our, our new super combos that we're getting. And that's it for that. We got some more. Okay, right here. Now we got stuff for our Sun Gohan deck, our U7 stuff. Sun Gohan Ultimate Essence is a one cost red super rare. One cost super rares are, they usually tend to be expensive because they usually are like 
definitely necessary for the deck. So if you see a one cost super rare for that archetype, you probably need four of them for the deck. Um, and they're always kind of pricey. Think of like the red uh, one drop Frieza that minuses whenever you pay uh, red energy. Can't remember what it's called. But anyway, auto, when this card is played, look at up to five cards from the top of your deck. Add up to one red universe seven card with the energy cost of four or less, or one red unison card with the specified cost of two among them to your hand, then shuffle your deck. Auto limit one if your leader card is red. When you use a mono red, skill if battle card in a combo, draw one card. Wow, so your leader is going to be drawing off of when you combo. Uh, something else happens when you combo a skill list that gets plus extra combo power, making it kind of like a super combo. You get to draw. So this may. This deck, every skillless card is like a super combo. If this guy's out, you're gonna draw two cards when you combo with a skillless. You're gonna the skillless is gonna be a 10k because it gets plus. Wow, that's pretty. Uh, this might be pretty good. And he's also a searcher, so yeah, you'll need four. You're probably gonna want four of him in the deck. He's gonna be your turn one play for sure. Uh, we have a zero cost extra card, red dif difference of status. That's sick looking too, by the way. That's a SR. Counterattack, Spirit Boost X. If your leader card is mono red, choose up to one of your opponent's cards and it gets minus 5,000 power for the turn. If you remove a marker from one of your red unison cards using this skill, choose up to one of your opponent's cards and it gets minus 5,000 power for the turn for each marker you removed using this skill. So you could, uh, you could like Spirit Boost 4 and minus 20k, minus 25k something. Um, pretty good. Then we got Exchange of Power. That art looks sick. I don't know why it just, it just looks, uh, I don't know. It looks vintage. Uh, exchange of power. Activate main or battle. Choose one. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards and it gets minus 15,000 power for the turn. Then draw one card. Wow. For, well, it costs two. Okay. Uh, choose one of your opponent's unison cards and it gets minus 15,000 power for the turn. Interesting. So if it's going to, yeah. For two, I don't know. It's pretty good. We got uh, a new universe seven uh extra card teamwork of universe seven we also have strategies of universe seven in the past um, universe seven assemble i think teamwork of universe seven counterattack negate the attack then choose any number of your opponent's battle cards with a total energy cost of one or less and those cards get minus ten thousand power for the turn so with a total energy cost of one or less so that doesn't say up to are they changing the text? Does to uh, with a total mean up to now? Because uh, all I'm wondering is if this wipes off tokens. I would think uh, it's with a total energy cost of one or less is almost the same as saying up to an energy cost of one or less. So I would think this would hit tokens. This card's skills can't be negated in any area. And it negates the attack. And then we have one cost Krillin, Universe 7 Challenger. When this card is played, out to one red skills battle card with the energy cost of two from your deck to your hand, then shuffle your deck. A little searcher for our Gohan deck. We have a three cost, three specified red, Android 17, Universe 7 Challenger. Barrier, blocker. Uh, auto once per turn when you activate this card's blocker skill. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and gets minus 15,000 power for the turn. Auto if your leader card is a mono red Universe 7 card and you only have this card and... And you only have this card and one red skillless battle card in your combo area. When this card is used in a combo, draw one card. So you're drawing all kinds of cards off your off your combos. I'm gonna have to tell Aaron about this. He's gonna like this. <laughs> he likes Hercule and Universe Seven stuff and drawing a lot. And we have Android 18, Universe Seven Challenger, two specified red. Barrier, 10k. Uh, barrier, if your leader card is mono red, universe 7 card, and you only have this card and one red skill as battle card in your combo area, when this card is used in a combo, draw one card. Same as the uh, other Android. That's kind of cool. Activate battle once per turn. Up to one red universe 7 battle card in your combo area. It gets plus 5,000 combo power for the battle. All right. Then we have Master Roshi, universe 7 challenger. One cost, red. 5k when this card is played add up to one red skill as battle card with energy cost of two from your drop area to your hand so this lets you get them out of the drop that's good and we got a vanilla piccolo universe seven so it goes with the gohan 20k vanilla two cost 20k vanilla two cost red super saiyan sun goku and then we're back to the gohan we got some more and we got some 
some more Universe 11 stuff. We have uh, one cost Jiren, Thirst for Power. This is an uncommon. Almost looked like a super rare. If your leader card is a, is a Universe 11 card, mono red Jiren card with the original energy cost of four in your hand. Mono red Jiren cards with an original energy cost of four in your hand gain the following effect. EX Evolve for one red and two of any color onto a red Jiren card with the energy cost of one. Original energy cost of four in your hand. Oh, so so you could, uh, if you had like the Shackles of the Past or whatever it's called, the four cost red Jiren from a draft box a while ago, you can evolve him onto the one drop for three energy instead of paying him, paying four for him. Nice. Gave you a way to get him out for cheaper. That's good. Auto, when this card is played, look it up to five cards from the top of your deck. Add up to one red Jiren card or one red Unison card with a specified cost of one among them to your hand, then shuffle your deck. So this is our one cost searcher, but he also gives our non-evolved Jiren's Evolve, which is pretty cool if they cost four. We have another one cost red Jiren, the Avenger. That's a 1K. <laughs> Look at little baby Jiren. <laughs> Auto, when this card is played, draw one card, can trip, activate main limit one. Uh, if your leader card is a red Universe 11 card, you choose one card in your hand to discard it, and you place this card at the bottom of your deck from your drop area, add up to one red Jiren card with an energy cost of five or less and an evolve skill from your deck to your hand, then shuffle your deck. So not only is it a can trip, but uh, you can um, you can find your five drops with it too. And we have Dispo, thwarting the enemy at one cost. Counterattack, limit one. If your leader card is red, negate the attack, then play this card in rest mode. If you negated a leader card's attack with this skill, your opponent can attack with their leader card for the turn. Permanent, you can activate this card's counter skill from your hand without paying its energy cost by paying the cost for Spirit Boost 2 instead. So it's a free negate, and it stops, it shuts their leader down if it's a, a multiple attacking leader. Then we have four cost, one specified red, one. Warrior of Universe 11, it's a double strike barrier, 20k. When this card is played, draw one card, then choose all of your Universe 11 cards, and they get plus 5k for the turn. And eh, probably, I don't know. I don't know if it'll be ran. Uh, then we have one cost Kunchi Warrior of Universe 11. Permanent all your red, non Kunchi Universe 11 cards with an energy cost of 1 in your battle area. Game barrier, nice. So this gives all your uh, one cost Jiren's... Um, that you're trying to evolve onto barrier, so that makes them harder to kill. Auto when this card is played, draw one. That's that's kind of good. Now we could also make a. We could get the old yellow Jiren leader. We could make a good red yellow Jiren deck. Huh. I might actually try that instead of using the new leader. Try out that other leader, uh, the yellow one. Make red yellow. Nice. I might do that. Uh, three cost. Two specified red Tupper Warrior of Universe 11. And almost, look, that says Tupperware. Tupperware. <laughs> uh, he's a 20k barrier dual attack. When this card is played, choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards, and they get minus 15k for the turn. All right. Then we have Kettle Warrior of Universe 11. Three cost, two specified red. 15k blocker. Counterplay. If the battle card being played has 20,000 power or less, place it in the owner's drop area instead. Then play this card. Oh, it's like a denial of hope. It's a denial of hope, but it's a body and a blocker for three instead of two. Oh, wait. Permanent bond three. Reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by one. So wow. So it's so as long as you have three um three other guys on the board, three other battle cards on the board, then you get to reduce this to a two cost. So it's a two cost denial of hope with blocker and a 15k body that's pretty awesome and auto when this card is played choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and it gets minus 10,000 and it minuses so it's a denial of hope that's a 15k blocking body that minuses when it's played. <laughs> that's so broken that seems broken guys i don't know am i wrong two cost casserole warrior of universe 11 so, so many universe 11 cards coming out deflect blocker Two cost deflect blocker. If this card would be moved from your battle area by opponent's skill, you may add one card from life to your hand instead. Cool. Also has self-awakening on it. Activate battle once per turn. If your leader card is a red universe 11 card, choose up to two of your red universe 11 cards with an energy cost of one and 10,000 power or less in your battle area and switch them to active mode. Pretty cool. 
more. One cost, source of power, counterattack, spirit boost X. If your leader card is a red universe 11 card, negate the attack and add up to one red Jiren card with an evolved skill and an energy cost of five or less from your deck to your hand, then shuffle your deck. If you removed a marker from one of your red unison cards using the skill, choose it for one red universe 11 card with an energy cost of one in your drop area and play it in rest mode with the skills negated for the turn. That does a lot of stuff. <laughs> and then we're back to the Jiren. And I think we have a little bit more. Those are SPRs. We're not going to go over the SPRs because because uh, they're all, you know, we'll look at them real quick. We already went over these cards, but these are the special rare versions. So those, the other versions were the super rares. These are the special rares. They look freaking amazing. That looks so sick. That's a special rare of the Gohan. That's pretty sick. But now we got one more card, the secret rare. So I'm going to go find a, a picture of the secret rare, and we will go over that. In just one second. All right, guys. Are you ready for it? Here we go. Here is the secret rare. Boom. SS Sun Goku and Frieza Miraculous Conclusion. This is from the Tournament of Power arc where Goku and Frieza had to take Jiren out. That's an iconic moment. And the card looks pretty sick. But let's see what it does. It is an 8 cost. 5 specified red. 1 cost 10k combo power. It's an ultimate. SCRs are always ultimates. And it has dual attack. And it's a 40k. 40k dual attack. Permanent. You can't play this card from any area using skills. And if you have 5 or more mono red energy... Reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by three. So as long as you have five or more mono red energy, it's a five cost dual attack 40k. Um, you can't. They have the can't play it from any area using skills because we have lots of Frieza cards that can play a five cost Frieza for very cheap. We have Frieza swap cards. We got the counter attack. Um, all the stuff for the old. Um, cooler mill deck that gets out the uh, five cost freeze 100 overdrive would effectively get this guy out also um so they had to make sure that you couldn't get him out too easy <laughs> with all those cards but anyway it, this card can't be removed from your battle area by your opponent's skills and during battles in which this card attack attacked you can't use cards from your hand in combos and your opponent can't activate counter or blocker skills so they can't counter, they can't block, you can't combo, but basically they're going to have to deal with two 40k attacks. And then activate main if your leader card is red and you remove this card from the game, deal one damage to your opponent. So you can swing 40k, swing 40k, they can't counter it, they can't block it, they're going to have to deal with it. And then you can remove this card and burn them for one damage. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. Uh, the only thing is it doesn't have deflect. Uh, so if you pay five for this and you drop it on the board and they god sealing technique trunks you it goes back to your hand you just wasted five energy uh, or mm, charismatic wouldn't hit it because as soon as it hits the field it would become an eight drop so charismatic wouldn't be able to kill it but but yeah god sealing would be a problem for it so there's also things that could rest it and if it gets rested it can't can't attack at all um you could still burn them for one but it kind of wastes the five energy so you know iffy as far as skills go it's it's good it's i don't know i i kind of like the other uh the other freeze of secret rare, the quad strike that makes you discard like four cards from your hand or whatever let you look at your opponent's hand i like that one better but this is an icon iconic moment in dragon ball super so a lot of people are loving this for the art and all that stuff but yeah that's that's it for the red cards. That is all of them. Well, guys, we got through all the red card reveals for Cross Spirits. I hope you liked the video. I hope you drop it a thumbs up. And uh, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that little subscribe button. You can hit the bell. You know whenever I put out new reveal videos, or gameplay videos, all the good stuff. Check out my Twitch channel if you ever want to see live gameplays or even play with me on Untapped with some Dragon Ball games. I also play other games on there. It's uh, Twitch TV slash Dragon Ball Junkie. And yeah, come back soon, guys. In the meantime, check out the videos that I got playing on the side over here.
Thanks for watching. It's your boy Josh, Dragon Ball Junkie. We out. Peace.